we're, we're probably no different to any um, fabricator out there. I mean, our business is uh, manufacturing roof trusses and wall frames. Uh, part of that process though is we have to deliver them to site. We have to transport them. And uh, the transporting of uh, this product, so they're, they're, as you can see, they're not exactly a square box. They're not a, a, a standard size. Uh, very difficult to load and uh, when you're loading them uh, up on a trailer that's probably 1.5 metres high and then you're trying to uh, put uh, trusses on frames in some cases, it just gets very difficult. Uh, it gets quite difficult to tie them down and uh, it's very hard to avoid uh, climbing up on the load. Uh, all of these things worried us and worried us for a long time. We've, we've had accidents where guys have fallen off trucks, have fallen off loads and, and uh, broken bones and and so uh, we just were looking for, there's got to be a better way to do it. Um, safety was the thing that led, it, led us to this. Uh, we were looking at a safer way to do what we do. So we knew that we had to lower the height. And so we come up with the idea, let's try and find a platform that we can build this on. And then um, uh, we know that the guys, if they fall off this, they're falling 200 millimetres to the ground. So that was the, uh, that's what uh, instigated us uh, looking at it. Um, we had an idea in our head um, and we went looking for someone that could help us uh, turn it into reality. Um, we didn't know at that stage whether we could afford to do it, uh, um, but we knew we had to do something. The, the spin-off for it is it's improved our efficiency out of sight. And uh, that was something we weren't really expecting but to get an extra couple of loads a day out of our, out of our transport um, per prime mover is, uh, is a huge um, benefit to us. Um, so yeah, we've, we've, we've got our safety, we load on the ground and uh, we've got our efficiency, we get more loads out. Turnaround time um, is like three to four minutes from when a truck comes in, take an empty pod off, put a loaded pod on and off they go again. Um, we don't need two trailers per prime mover. We have one trailer and uh, it's just uh, the, the cost savings are enormous and you've got to use the system before you really realise that. One of our uh, main concerns was how we were going to move these pods around the yard uh, when they're fully loaded. So we knew that we would need a larger forklift. Uh, we weren't sure at the time how many larger forklifts we might need. Um, but we knew that they are reasonably expensive and that would be a bit of a deterrent. As it turned out, we started with one large forklift uh, when we only had four pods. As we grew through to what we've got today, we've got 32 road pods here, uh, running about uh, five or six trucks out of here, each doing about five loads a day. Um, and one forklift does it and it's parked up at the moment. So. Um, it, uh, we're pleasantly surprised. Uh, the main reason is that we've got uh, four and five tonne forklifts here, conventional ones. They can move the pods around when they're empty or with a light load on them. So the standard forklifts can handle the pods, move them, unload the trucks. We only need the large forklift for when we've got a fully loaded pod and we're either storing it in one of our racks or we're putting it on the truck. The main benefit without a doubt is the safety factor. The fact that we're loading uh, on the ground. Uh, and not at heights. Um, the pleasant surprise was the cost saving and the efficiency. And uh, for, for this operation here at Yatla, um, conservatively, we would be saving about $400,000 a year in transport costs as a result of road pod. Now that didn't happen from day one. We started with two road pods. We grew that to four to eight. We've now got 32 pods here and, uh, and we're pushing out around about 35 loads a day. Um, we're doing that, we're loading these pods while there's no truck in the yard, there's no trailer, um, so that the, the uh, saving for us on uh, waiting time uh, and drivers sitting in trucks and, and hire trucks um, um, at $100 an hour parked up uh, is just enormous. Who would I recommend RoadPod to? I would recommend RoadPod to anyone who owns a truck, who has to transport goods, whether they're as large as what we do here, or whether it's a, uh, a small body truck carting hardware or a uh, timber truck uh, cutting long lengths of timber. Um, we started thinking we needed to move trusses and frames around and, and consolidate trusses and frames and load on the ground. Um, we've gone to moving this similar system into our hardware. We've moved it into our timber division. We're looking at moving it into our window division. There is 
so many ways you can configure this idea of loading on the ground and lifting onto the truck that uh, I would recommend it to anyone. And as far as what size you need to be, we started with two pods and, uh, and using one truck and we just saw the saving. So we just kept multiplying that to the point where we've now got in this yard, 32 pods um, servicing five trailers. We are very proud uh, to have uh, won an award uh, for our industry for being most innovative. Uh, the innovative part was simply using this system. Um, and what I um, say to people whenever I'm uh, showing anyone the system or talking to someone about the system is that it's very seldom that you can find a product that uh, makes a job safer. And that's what you set out to do. But in turn, the, the offset to that is that it saves you a lot of money. Um, usually safety comes at a cost. Uh, in this case, um, safety comes with a saving. Very rare uh, and uh, yes, yeah, so we're very happy to have won the uh, most innovative award for our industry.